Hi everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to create your first project for the Quest 2 using Unity. Some things you will need in order to follow along with this demo are a Quest 2 headset and the uh, USB cable associated with the headset, uh, a Meta developer account which you can set up for free, and Unity 2021 or newer, and the Android build modules associated with that version of Unity. If you don't already have a, a Meta developer account or an Oculus developer account, you can create one for free. This link is in the description and um, you just need to sign up for an account and verify your identity and then you can become a Meta developer. Once you have a developer account, you can place your headset into developer mode. You will need to first connect the headset to your phone. If the headset was set up with a different phone uh, or someone else's account, um, you'll actually need to factory reset the headset, which you can do by holding the power button and one of the volume buttons for several seconds, and then it will give you the option to factory reset the headset, and then you can set it up with your new Meta Developer account. Um, so once you pair it with your phone, you'll locate the headset settings, and then you will place the headset into developer mode. The phone must be paired with the headset in order to do this step. Um, and if you have trouble finding the settings, you can find it under menu and then under device and then under headset settings. Once your headset is in developer mode, then you just need to set up your development environment with Unity. If you already have Unity installed, you can add the Android build modules by selecting the little gear icon next to the Unity install and then choosing the Android build support. And the two options under the Android build support, which is OpenJDK and Android SDK and NDK tools. Uh, you will need all of these things in order to build for the Quest because the Quest actually runs on the Android operating system. So the process for building for the Quest is very similar to building to an Android phone. Just to show you that last step of uh, installing the Android build support, if you have the Unity Hub open and hopefully you have at least one version of Unity installed, if you don't have a version of Unity installed, you can install uh, an editor and choose an editor version 2021 or newer. Um, if you already have a version of Unity installed that you want to use, you can just choose the gear icon and then choose add modules. And here's where you'll see the Android build support if you have not already installed it. Uh, so it should allow you to check the boxes. If it does not allow you to check the boxes, that means that you have already installed it. And you can see it says here that it has been installed. Then you're ready to create your project. So you'll go to the project tab and choose new project. I recommend for uh, your first time setting up uh, uh, a project for the Quest for the first time that you use the VR core template that comes with Unity. Um, and let me go ahead and switch to Unity 2022, which is the version I'll be demoing in. And um, the, when you first set this up, you probably will only see the 2D core and 3D core as the options here. If you scroll down, you can find the VR core option and then choose download template. Uh, this template is a great starting point for developing for VR. It comes with all the necessary plugins that you'll need in order to build for the headset and just a real basic scene that has the controllers in it. You can see a preview of what the controllers look like here. Um, in a future video, I'll show you some other plugins that you can use, but for just your very first build, the easiest thing to do is to start with the VR core template that comes with Unity. So I'll go ahead and name my project and choose where to save it. I'll call this VR First Quest Build. And I'll go ahead and create that project. Once Unity finishes opening up the new project, you should be greeted with this little pop-up message about the VR project template to let you know that you need to go to your uh, project settings and under XR Plugin Management, select the platforms that you plan to deploy to. So I'll show you how to get to those steps. We can go ahead and close out of this window. Um, I also want to point out that they do have some documentation associated with the VR template. Um, it is not extremely thorough, but it helps you get started if you don't really know what you're working with. So you can check out the documentation uh, and the forums uh, that they have here. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and close this tab as well. And now uh, we're ready to actually start setting up our uh, project settings to build for VR. Uh, before I do that, I do wanna show you a little bit around the sample scene that comes with this. If we double click on the XR rig uh, so that we can center it in our 
um, focus point uh, and then we can zoom in on it um, and we can see that it has uh, the controllers that are just these sort of placeholder um, placeholder controller models. Um, I'm gonna just pull it out of the ground just so that we can take a look at it, but then I am going to uh, reset it back to its uh, default position. So um, just showing you this it really doesn't look that much like the Quest controller. It is very generic and is meant to be for any VR headset with any hand tracked controllers. So I'm gonna go ahead and undo those position changes so that it is back at its starting point. Um, and the other thing that the XR rig comes with is a, a camera that is set up um, to um, use the, the VR head tracking. So everything is really set up for you. You don't have to code anything in order for the VR headset to be able to communicate with the Unity scene. All of this comes with the template uh, that is the, the default Unity setup for running uh, on a VR headset. So let's take a look at our settings. So I'm going to, uh, there's a couple ways you can get to it. You can either go to edit and then project settings, or you can go to file and then build settings. And then from there you can choose player settings. Um, so um, while I'm here in the build settings, I am going to mention that you do need to always make sure that you have a scene that you are actually building. And we want to build this, this sample scene, the scene that came with the template. So I'm going to choose add open scenes. Uh, and then I am going to uh, hop on over to my player settings. When you click on the player settings from, the, from that build menu, um, we get to the same project settings that we would have gotten to from edit and then project settings. Um, uh, but one thing to note is that it is set up for a um, Windows, Mac, and Linux build currently. And as I mentioned before, the Quest is actually an Android device. And so we do need to change to the Android settings. So I'm gonna close out of this window for a moment and I'm actually going to change my target platform here from the build settings. Um, so again, if you lose this build settings window, you can get to it from file and then build settings. Uh, so we added our open scene and then we're going to switch platform to Android. I'll go ahead and, uh, oops. I'll go ahead and hit switch platforms. And this takes a, a little bit to actually switch the platform. And you can see it running down here in the corner where it says compiling scripts. So this does take a little bit before it's actually ready for this build platform. Uh, so just be patient while it finishes compiling those. And um, once this warning here goes away, then it is uh, finished, finished switching. All right, and now it is done. Uh, so we can see that it is set up for the Android build platform and we can go ahead and now open up player settings and now it is selected on the settings for Android. Um, you can also switch between these to set up uh, the settings for something other than your current build target, but um, we know that we want our build target to be Android and we also want to change the Android settings. Uh, so the first thing that um, I'm going to do uh, under this Android tab is I'm going to go under other settings and I'm going to come down here to the uh, texture compression format, which is currently set to ETC, and we need to change this to ASTC, which stands for Adaptive Scalable Texture Compression. Uh, this is the texture compression format we need to use to uh, build for the Quest. So that'll take a moment to update that. Um, the next setting that we are going to change is if we scroll down a little bit to identification, um, you may uh, you may or may not see this checkbox, and so you want to actually uncheck this uh, override default package name. So we want to just use the default package name. If you want to override it, you do need to fill in the details of what you want for the uh, the company name and the product name. But if you uncheck this box, it will just use whatever is up here at the top listed as the company name and the product name. And if you want to change your company name here, you can do that. Um, and then you can also change the product name. Uh, the default is to use the name of the Unity project that you created. So next we want to go under XR plugin management. And here we see a couple of options. And again, notice that we are on the Android tab and there is a Windows tab. Uh, the Windows tab uh, should already have open XR checked. If it doesn't, you can check that box. Um, the Oculus on the Windows tab, this would be for the Oculus Rift and we are doing the Oculus Quest. 
Um, so on the Android uh, tab, now the Oculus here, um, you can choose either to use OpenXR or to use Oculus. And um, depending on your computer setup and your version of Unity and, and a variety of other things, um, you may find one of these easier to work with than the other. Um, I have run through this demo on a couple of different computers and on some of them when I select the Oculus uh, checkbox I get um, a frustrating amount of errors uh, associated with it. So I'm actually going to choose the OpenXR um, option here. Um, now I have had some luck on, on uh, Mac computers actually using the Oculus option, um, but I'm going to go ahead and use the OpenXR. Um, and uh, you might see that it has some warnings. Uh, if you see any that actually have the red exclamation point, you want to go ahead and choose fix. Um, the yellow uh, warning uh, is not necessary to fix them, but we can go ahead and choose fix all and hopefully it will fix these options for us. And then we can close out of this window. Um, next, I'm going to come down here to the Open XR option. And um, so uh, the Oculus option, we can just leave everything as it is. All of the defaults here are fine. But under the Open XR option, um, we actually want to check the box for MetaQuest support. And then uh, we will once again get a, a warning that it needs to make some changes. And so we can once again choose fix all. Um, the recommended changes are the things that we want to do. So we'll just choose fix and allow it to make those changes for us. Now we don't see any uh, any warnings or errors anymore and we have the MetaQuest support selected here. And so uh, we're ready to move on to the next step. One optional thing, um, if you have previously done some Android development, you may find uh, this step necessary. Um, it, it is not a required step, but um, in some cases, if you have done other Android development, you may need to choose under player settings. Um, and then down all the way at the bottom under publish settings. Uh, you can set up a custom key store. If you have created key stores in the past for other projects and if they are saved in a place that's difficult for Unity to access, um, you may encounter errors associated with a key store. And so you can just create a key store associated with this project. Um, it's not a required step, but it is a step that, that helps in some cases it, resolving issues that are associated with having a previous key store set up. That is all for the settings portion. And so now we're ready to actually build our project from our build settings window. And so in order to build to a specific device, if we see this run device option here, so we actually need to attach our uh, Quest headset now to our computer in order to build to this specific device. Now we need to connect the Quest headset to the computer using a uh, USB-C cable on the end that plugs into the Quest headset. It has a USB-C port. Uh, and then if your computer has a Thunderbolt or USB-C port itself, then you can use the USB-C to USB-C cable that comes with the Quest headset. Uh, if your computer does not have a USB-C port or a Thunderbolt port, you may need to uh, acquire a USB-C to regular USB cable. That way you can connect the, the USB-C end to the headset and the USB end to the computer. Once you plug it into the computer, you'll need to look into the headset and uh, allow the two uh, options that pop up. You'll see a pop-up that asks if you want to allow USB debugging. This is an option because the headset is in developer mode and you should say yes. Um, and then the other pop-up that you'll want to agree to is to allow file transfer or to allow access to files from the computer. So um, allow all of the things that pop up uh, on the headset and then you are ready for the com computer to communicate with the headset. And so then if you choose refresh for this run devices and choose uh, the default device dropdown, you should now see an option for the Oculus Quest 2 and it will have um, the associated number at the end of it for this specific headset, um, which I have uh, blanked out uh, in this recording, um, but basically it should just say Oculus Quest 2. Uh, and so then you'll select that option and then you are ready to choose build and run. Uh, so you'll need to choose what to, uh, what to call this project. It will save it as an APK, which is the file type for Android builds. Uh, so I'm going to call this first VR build and we'll go ahead and save it. 
and the very first time that you run it, it will take a while to build um, and get it onto the headset. After the first time, it, it has a lot of files it needs to generate, so after the first time, it will actually be a whole lot faster. But just the very first time, it will take uh, quite a long time. So I'm going to pause the video while the build runs. Once the build finishes, you can actually unplug the headset and put it on. Um, and uh, what I'm doing here is I'm actually going to cast my screen from the headset into this um, Chrome browser, which is uh, something you can do with the Quest. So um, I'm just going to put this on so that we can see what we built. And I'll wake up the controller. Um, so here I can see I can move the controller around. Uh, I can look around the environment so the head tracking is working. Uh, I have the other controller sitting right here as well. Um, so I can see both controllers work. Um, and uh, so th this is basically our first VR build. Um, there's not much to it in order to be able to get up and running building thanks to the Quest headset. Um, in the uh, later videos, I'm going to show how to set up some things in your environment and how to make it more interactive, uh, as well as how to use some other VR plugins. So thank you for joining me in this video, making your first uh, project for the Quest 2 using Unity. I hope you have found this helpful getting started, and I hope you'll join me in some of the future videos where we'll look at how to uh, create more meaningful and interesting VR experiences now that we know how to deploy to the headset. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you'll like and subscribe, and hope to see you in the next video. Thanks.